Hi guys, in today's tutorial I would like to show you how you can set up such a 7 segment display that you can see behind me. This is not a counter, you can basically display any number you like, but right now I have set this up as a counter just for demonstration. You can see behind me the display there and the size of it. It is not the most compact one, but therefore it can display any number you like. It consists always out of three parts. You've got the display in the front, then the wiring to the different segments of the 7 segment display and then the decoder for the signal. This is all made 4 wide, or basically 3 wide, so you can fit one of those next to the other one and as you can see here there's just one block in between and you could have the next display over here. Down below I now have connected this to something that is done by a mango, it is the fast response dropper counter which is uh, basically a very good uh, input for this, but I won't go into detail about this stuff down here, but just how you can set up the display. Building this is fairly straightforward and it feels like doing redstone before we had uh, hoppers and comparators and all that. So you want to start with the display and then we need to always make sure we've got the inputs. So this block, this block, this block and so on wired up. So we start down here and you need to get down by four blocks with a staircase. And since we've got a torch tower going upwards, we need to have decreasing delay for different segment parts going upwards as well. So we start down here with seven ticks and uh, then just connect it with some redstone. And then we can already um, put in our uh, repeaters on top of each other. Now to connect those up, we can just start with uh, the one on the side now and uh, bring it over to here so we could have a block there. It doesn't really matter how you connect it, you can just do it yourself as well. And uh, yeah, just having the redstone line going into here, repeater on two ticks here and then full delay here. So we've got six ticks on this one. Then we will have the one on the other side connected to that one here. I think we can just do it um, by keeping it on this level at first, then having the repeater here on one tick, this one on four, so it's five ticks connected over. Then this one is the one in the center, it's just straight over and this needs to have four ticks of delay. Uh, we can cut those off with the blocks and already connect them. Then this one on this side here needs to be connected of course to over here and we should have three ticks on this one. Now we are getting quite a lot of connections which we can cut off with the blocks there. Then over here we can have uh, this one then on two ticks and we can bring this down already here so it is all connected up and then the one on the top here can uh, yeah, just get down to the right level. So just like this and it's on one tick. So that is all connected up and we need to cut off the wire here so that doesn't connect. And this is already the um, yeah, connection to the display from the decoder then. Now here's the tricky part about this. You need to have the encoder in the right place and I was thinking what is the best way to demonstrate it and I thought that pausing the screen right here and taking a look at it to rebuild it might be the best way of doing it. So what you can see here is the whole encoder. Now let me explain what this is doing. We start off with a block here, right next to where we stop with our line. And then we always have a torch tower. So torches go all the way to the top on these 10 blocks here. So we need to have 10 blocks with torch towers stacking up. Then if there's a repeater or a redstone torch, this will mean that the signal is getting passed through to the other side. So if I grab myself now a lever, and I activate this first line here, you can see that this is turned on, this is turned on, this, this is not turned on, this is turned on, this and this. And this is because this is the zero and it's just missing the central part here. So the central segment is missing so we get the zero here. And this is done for all 10 segments here. So on here for the one you can see we just have two signals turned on. For the two there should be two missing so this one is missing 
and as well as that uh, the one up here is missing. So what I did for you is I marked the missing redstone torches with those hardened clay blocks so it's easier to see for you where you need to put them and I think building this line by line is the best way so start with the lowest line you can see one then one missing two one missing two one missing and so on then here you can see you've got four repeater there's just one missing and so on so here's again the screen to pause it and rebuild it Now from here all that's left to do is to grab yourself some blocks and then put the redstone on top of those blocks and this is then connecting either to the redstone torches or to the repeaters because uh, these will then give you the signet. The reason why we have torches and repeaters is of course because this is always inverting and we need to invert the signal once more if it is already in the on state and like this we can just have repeaters and redstone torches on the different levels and as you can see it's connecting nicely to the um, decoder And there we have it, the whole seven segment display is now connected and we could just add some levers here and test if this is working. So this is a nine. And if you've got a mistake there in the uh, numbers, then you need to check your decoder. If you forgot a repeater or a redstone torch or you may have placed one too much, uh, then uh, we would, for example, have a segment activated here. But uh, this is basically all there's to it. This is an easy way of setting up such a seven segment display and you can now hook up anything to the bottom of it. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, then of course feel free to leave a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and share this video with your friends. And I hope then to see you in the next video. Until then, have a great day.